everybody, got Gordon here. And Kristen and Sasha, say hi guys. Hello. Are you And Gimpy. <laughs> As you guys know, we've been having issues with Midnight and her battery, and I broke her. I feel so bad for that. But we're getting that fixed. But I got a project to do outside that involves hopefully fixing the battery issue, because apparently the battery's good, so we've been told. So to do this job, I need to get some tools. My socket set. Her vice grips and this wrench. So, as you can see, we got this battery tested, and it's saying that it's a good battery. I don't know if you guys can see it on here. I'll just hold it up. It's kind of hard. I'm in the sun, so, but it says it's a good battery. Well, I got a problem, and here's the problem. I think the problem is underneath this computer module. Nah, it's a computer. Um, there's the battery and there's wires. Once I take this off, you'll see in a minute. Anyways, we think it's that. So, what we think the problem is, is these things here. They've been worn out. You can see that as I zoom in. Look how bad that one is. That one's real bad. And then that one. To the point where you can't even get a the clamps around it. So I'm gonna change those out because apparently they're saying this battery is good, but I think they're full of shit because if it was good, we wouldn't have a problem starting her up right about now. And the alternator is good because we had a mechanic out here test it and it's got its proper amperage. It's pumping it out. It was charging the battery when it was running. So yeah, so that's why we're thinking it might be these things. So I'm gonna change it out, put the charger on and hopefully she works from here on out. Let's try it. So you can see, I took out the one already, this one here, the one that's dis destroyed, and you can see the new one, sorry, you can see the new one, I'm going to put the new one in just now, and uh, yeah, and I'll deal with the other side too, and I'll show you what I'm done. There's the other one, um, I didn't have to do what my cousin showed me, he showed me a tutorial where I needed to bring all those tools. And actually, I was able to just do it with my fingers. It was a little hard. You can see that I got indentations on my thumb from pushing on it and prying it. But here's what it looks like. So let me just uh, put these on the dash. So there's the old ones. There's the old ones. And I had to put the new one on. So there's the new one. It's not tight. And there's the one I took off of. So all I had to do is I just had to take my thumb and push it really hard. As I was pushing on the other side here where my finger is, I was unscrewing it. That's why like I say the indentations. I got indentations on the other finger. You just can't see because I'm holding the tripod. But uh, I got her out. So now I just got to put the new piece in like I did on this side. And then I'm probably going to have to put the trickle charger on. Once I tighten up the battery, and uh, we should be good to go. And I'll show you when I'm done. All right, that didn't take me long at all, guys. I haven't tightened it up yet, but, and I'm sorry if I'm shaky, but my nerves, when, I, when you're using your muscles, like I said, I didn't have to do anything that that guy showed, uh, showed me. And I'll actually throw that, insert that clip in here in a minute. He actually said I needed to have my socket set, and that I was gonna need those to push out these little bolts. But I didn't need that at all. Just my hands, man, Arr. and uh, I did it. I now, I do need tools to tighten it up to the, the actual battery, but after that, we're good to go. But you can see this is your typical um, Chevy um, battery cable. 
so it comes with this side post terminal uh, get up and you know look like that from the front and this from the back you're going to need um, uh, probably something like a socket uh, this is a 15 16 standard socket and I'm going to use uh, some channel locks and then uh, you're going to need just a regular, uh, this is a 3 8 coarse thread bolt, just standard size that, you know, a 9 16 socket would fit on, uh, and a nut. So, it's uh, nothing complicated. Uh, so, here's how we're going to take care of it. So, I'm going to use a 15, uh, 15 16 socket. If you have a 1 inch socket, that would work good. Just put it on the back side there where the plastic is so that you're not blocking uh, the head of that battery terminal bolt. Uh, then take your vice grips from this side and get a hold of the bolt just like so and then just squeeze and as you squeeze it will push that bolt through the back side after you've done that it'll be about halfway out like this and you can just pull it right out just like that okay so you don't need this part so anymore. now that you have um, the original um, lug terminal out of the center of there all you need is to get a standard size 3 8 coarse thread bolt and a nut but you'll want to take this nut put it on the bolt first and run it up at least about a half an inch so that it's on there now when you put this in to the battery itself she's all tightened in and nice and tight Made sure of that. Now I'm gonna put this bad boy on, and hopefully, within maybe a half an hour, it shouldn't take long because it's beautiful out. So hopefully, we get some charge. Hey everybody, it's been a while. We tried trickle charging it, no go. Um, I guess it just it was a dead like. I don't get it. You guys saw in the previous clips that this battery was supposedly quote unquote supposed to be. Uh, a good battery but i don't think so i think they're full of shit um it took a friend of ours here to boost us but we we're up and running as let me just show you she's she's working look we got power that engine light's always been on so don't be concerned about that i don't know if it's a sensor or what the heck but uh yeah and as for her Noise, we think it might be just a shield or something on the back of it. If, if it is, it'll be an easy fix according to the mechanic. So yeah. And then when we get back, we're gonna eat and then we're gonna go for a walk. So hopefully, I'm gonna get some little footage before it gets a little dark and colder.